Well, the phone maker Nokia is launching a counter-offensive against Apple and Google and the smartphone wars. It has just unveiled its first phones with Microsoft's Windows operating system, the Lumia. Joining me now uh, for an exclusive interview on Nokia's comeback strategy is the company's CEO and president, Stephen Eilop. Stephen, great to have you with us here in the studio. My pleasure. Um, and, you know, it is a comeback, um, you know, that, that you are trying to foment here with Nokia because, you know, we have a stock chart uh, that shows how much Nokia shares have dropped off since Apple introduced the iPhone back in 2007. I think the stock actually has fallen about 76 percent. I know you just joined uh, back in 2010. So with the stock price, with that big of a drop, how are you going to measure success from here on out with Nokia? Well, there's a number of things that we look for in terms of success. First of all, we have to make sure we're delighting consumers. And last week, we had the great privilege of standing on stage and sharing um, a brand new line of smartphones, the Nokia Lumia devices, mm -hmm. which first results in terms of you know reaction and buzz and everything is very positively received. We also launched last week a range of what we call mobile phones for emerging markets, again, being very enthusiastically received, the Nokia Asha family, right. as well as a number of capabilities that make our products unique. Um, and through all of these things, essentially like what we what? said... What's, what's different? Uh, we have capabilities in navigation, something called Nokia Drive. We have unique music capabilities. We have a unique partnership with ESPN, for example. So all of these things together allowed us to stand on stage and say, this is a new dawn for Nokia. So it was but, a proud moment. But you're confident that's going to drive users from the iPhone, from the Android operating systems to your platform? Yes, absolutely. Because what we're delivering with Nokia Lumia is a unique experience, a unique point of view. When people put the devices in their hands, when they experience it for the first time, they say, wow, the smartphone is continuing to innovate. Nokia is innovating, and we're really excited about this. So we're looking forward to some good results. But some are saying without that big apps base, it's hard to do that. It's hard to capture that market and share. And we're seeing that app space develop right now. We announced our new strategy as recently as February. We said we're going in this direction. There were only 6,000 apps for the, the Windows Phone environment. Now there's about 30,000 of them. So just in the short time before we shipped our first devices, we've seen all sorts of developers moving in our direction, doing some of their best work on, on the Nokia Lumia platform, which gives us great hope for the future. What's your market share goal? I mean, what do you, where do you want to be 12 months from now then? So we don't publish a specific numerical goal but clearly it is our aspiration to drive significantly improving market share both on a volume basis and on a value basis in terms of how you measure it. Okay. So those things are, are something we're absolutely pursuing. Um, we have seen... But what would be success for you though for market share So wise? success is something where even if you look forward a year from now people are saying wow not only did Nokia declare it was a new dawn, but we're seeing it in the numbers. The trend is clearly there. If I can give you a specific example of how this can happen, we recently launched a new line of products in India with some unique capabilities that are important in the Indian market. Mm -hmm. And we saw very rapidly a sudden turn in the market share trajectory of Nokia in that country. We saw the numbers going in the right direction. And that's why investors had a lot of positive things to say about our Q3 results. Great products, great mobile products, delighting consumers can change the equation very very rapidly and that's what we're focused on. Stephen, what customer are you really targeting though here with these phones? Is it is it the corporate customer or is is it more of the, you know, the 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 I guess the consumer we could we would call that. So we believe it always has to start with the consumer. You have to start with that individual cuz individuals, people, like real people are the ones who decide whether they like the experience or not. And through those people we can influence many others. Now, it is the case that because of the strength of Microsoft in the corporate environment, mm -hmm. some of our own experience in that world, there is also an opportunity for us to reach out to the, the corporate customers as well, and you'll see us do that with time. Now, Steve, as you know, Microsoft has not had great success in the smartphone market, and you know even Steve Ballmer has joked about that from time to time. Um, and part of that, you know, some people say, is because they weren't able to establish this retail presence, right? They weren't able to get the salespeople um, at these carriers, at these networks, excited about mm -hmm. these phones. So, how are you going to change that? What exactly are you going to put? What investment are you going to make to change that? Well, the first thing is you need a great product, and what we were able to do on October 26 is, as we said on stage, deliver the first first real Windows Phone, where the industrial design, the differentiating software, everything that we've included on this device is something that sets it apart. So you need to start with a great mobile product, and we've done that. 
But what we're also doing is making sure that as we go into retail, we are absolutely capturing the hearts and minds of consumers who may be walking past the store, may see something on TV. But so we're what? starting our launch, for example, um, in the weeks ahead in, the, uh, in six countries in Europe. And if you go into those countries right now and just see the way that the advertising, for example, the tile aspects that, that are a, a hallmark of the Windows Phone interface mm -hmm. are everywhere. They're in the store. They're teaching people about the experience to draw them in. It is the case in our first markets that the commitment for marketing dollars from ourselves and from operators and retailers is greater than anything we've ever done before. So we're really excited about that. Okay. Um, now Nokia announced earlier this, this year um, job cuts, 7,500 in April and I think another 3,500 um, in September. Are you done with the job cuts and restructuring? So it is the case in this industry that we have to be in a constant cycle of transformation. And that's what you'll see at Nokia is we'll add jobs, we'll, we'll move jobs, we'll make those changes as we need to. What we've learned is we have to be more nimble and moving with more urgency than we've ever done before. So we'll aggressively do whatever we need to do to ensure competitiveness over time. Stephen, let me ask you about acquisition. Some mm -hmm. say, look at RIM. They're struggling right now, and there's talk about a possible takeover mm -hmm. acquisition. Would you be interested in a company like RIM and adding it to your fold? So we don't comment specifically on, on individual targets for, for acquisition and so forth. But what I would say is that what's important to us is to establish this whole ecosystem, which is our devices, software, but also all of the different pieces. It's about unified communications, advertising, games, entertainment, all of those pieces need to be brought together. So what you will see us do is enter into the partnerships, make the acquisitions, do whatever is necessary mm. to make sure our ecosystem is better and more competitive than the, than the other ones. And just last thing, you've seen the iPhone 4S. Is there anything in that iPhone that you wish that you would have in your Nokia phone? So I am so proud of the Windows phone and the fact that we have a variety of capabilities <laughs> there that are that. That, exactly, <laughs> that are different than everybody else. And that, that of course starts, I mean, the whole experience with the Nokia Lumia is it's not just a boring collection of, of application icons on a screen. As you saw, the whole experience comes to life and presents information that's important to you. That's what we're focused on. Stephen, thank you so much. Really appreciate you joining us. Stephen Elop, 